I'm Liv Cook, freestyle football world champion and welcome to Sarajevo for our first Play Anywhere vlog. I'm going to be travelling to different cities across the whole of Europe to find out what it's like to be a female footballer there, to listen to the stories and of course to freestyle. We're heading up to the Yellow Fortress where I'm going to be meeting up with Asra and this woman is incredible. She does absolutely everything she's the club secretary the club administrator club photographer i think even the kit bag woman and she's a player so i'm really excited to meet her it's going to be awesome so let's go oh couldn't see it then it was that far away so that is where we're going i tell you what my legs are killing can't be just me are yours Manifold. are yours yeah you're glad oh i'm not used to this I swing my legs around a ball. This is it, isn't it? We've made it! I've become a professional hiker in the process, but we've made it! This is a cafe. Oh, wow. Actually, this is a cafe that... Oh, this <laughs> isn't, this isn't the fortress. <laughs> no, this is not the fortress. This is not the fortress? No, no, no. No. I came to the same place. We're almost there. We've made Flat Road, and apparently it's just down here. Oh. Get run over by the car. We're almost there. It's pretty good, isn't it? Worth the hike. I'm impressed. She don't fall off the edge. Let's go. Right, in 10 minutes, I might be ballless. Let's go. They can get it. No, they can get it. She's got it. She's got it. Yes! <laughs> it's really slippery. Watch out. I was getting a bit carried away freestyling on the hill and I went, I like this. And the ball just went, what? Well, I've got a saviour. I've got an angel. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Nice to meet you too. Was it a good journey here? Yeah, it yeah, was a okay. good journey for you. And welcome to Sarajevo. Yeah, I know it's nice to be here. Yeah, it's yeah, nice it's to see beautiful. you here. Yeah. <laughs> so, football is your life. Yeah. This club and women's football in Bosnia is my life mission. And I want to change it, I want to, to develop it. And I think it's easy to go in a big club and have a salary and work. It's easy to do, mm. but it's a big challenge to make it here in Bosnia. Yeah, I love challenges. What do you think has been like the, the drive, the main reason that it's developed so much in the past 10 years? Our club, our passion and our yeah. commitment. I have to say it really is like that. Our head coach, she's uh, in women's football in Bosnia for I don't know how many years, 30 years. Before the war she was playing for the national team of Yugoslavia. She was one of our, she was our best uh, player. After the war she started uh, in her club to develop it and then all of a sudden she decided that she wants to have her own club. Mm. Because in her form, former club, uh, when girls wanted to play, they said like, no, we don't need them. We have our first team and that's enough. And she was like, but the girls are good. They want to play. Let them play. And then she decided to make a whole new club where every girl can play. Oh, and that's how good. this story started, with her idea of having a club where every girl can play. And that's how SFK 2000 Sarajevo started in the year 2000. Wow. Yes. And she's still with us. She's our head coach, our president. And wow. Um, I was a girl back then when I started with football and we are still here, uh, our captain, me, three, four more players and we are doing everything in the club. Yeah. Our former players are now being technical directors, I'm general secretary and everything we are yeah. doing. It. Wow, I think that's amazing. Oh, great. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow, what's this? Much needed, much needed. This is Bosnian coffee. You take this, yeah. this is a sweet. <laughs> It's all right, that. Okay. And now, tip in a little bit. Oh. Mm. Oh, you spit the sugar. This is the way we like to drink. Really? It. And we are a real coffee nation. 
I don't know about eating the sugar. <laughs> it's not quite right, that is. I like the coffee though. We're heading up to the abandoned bobsleigh track from the 1984 Olympics. I'm so excited to freestyle here. It looks sick because you can literally play anywhere. How will we get into the top? Well, cable car. And it's been closed for 20, 26 years. 26 years! One of them things that you're glad you've done because you've got a nice view, like, it's insane that view. Not sure if you can see, but the stadium is just over there where we're going to be going later. I'll show you. Wait, where is it? There it is. That's the stadium that we're going to be going to later for the Chelsea-Sarajevo match. We're going to see Azra doing one of her hundred jobs. <laughs> So I also saw a story um, mm -hmm. online about you was walking down the street and um, a boy shouted to you, girls can't play football or something. And yeah. it was really interesting what the other guy said. So I just wanted to hear that story. Yes, that uh, happened a few years ago. Uh, we were walking towards our stadium to have a training session mm -hmm. and a boy was shouting, oh, you don't have to play football, you can't play football, that's not for girls. And the other boy that was with him said, you know nothing about them and about football. They play better than you and you can play Champions League only on PlayStation and they play for real. <laughs> so that was a good argument. So his own friend that well, yeah, showed him up. Friend. Oh, he must so have I didn't felt have embarrassed. to do anything. I was just smiling and listening to them. Yeah, yeah. The Sometimes you don't need to say anything though. Football is still considered to be a men's sport here mm -hmm. in Bosnia. But the fact is that the best club football result was done by us, by a women's team. And that's the biggest argument that football is for girls. Uh, we played it really good. And then you hear that comments that football is not for girls. Mm. And I was like, okay. I play it really good, but then someone says, you, I can't do it. But I can. I can't. I can. And then I said, okay, we need to prove then that we can. And I want to show them that I can. Mm. And I don't want to stop doing it because someone is saying you can't do it. Yeah. And that was my motive. So it was not about the games anymore, about the result, about scoring the goals. It was about showing to people that you can do it. Yeah. And we did. I think we did it in a great way. With our results, we gave the best argument that we and can do it. And still doing it. Yes, and still yeah. doing it. And, and we are setting the pole higher and higher. I just don't want to stop here. Now we are playing Champions League round of 32. We, we want to go further. It'd be scary being a bobslayer, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's not an easy sport, that. You could easily just go off the edge of this. Look at how. Look at it. If I was a 10 year old girl now in Sarajevo, what kind of support is there to get into football? Uh, girls, except when you are in the club, they don't have much competitions. There are some um, tournaments for them in schools or some projects, but that's not all the time. It's just for one period in the year. So I think they, are, they find us because the promotion right now is really good. Everyone knows about us. Mm. So they are finding us. And and calling us and they say I want what, to play girls? football, they're coming, yeah. Young or girls their are parents. Coming. Yeah. Wow. That never happened before. Parents yeah. were, were the people that stopped girl from playing. Mm. They said no that's not for uh, football is not for you, go play volleyball or something like that. But now they change. Yeah. Now moms are getting their, their girls to training sessions and that's yeah. great. They're calling us, they want them to be with us. 
it changes people individually, the players, mm -hmm. uh, because through football they learn life lessons. Yeah, it's not about sure. how you kick the ball, it's about how you cooperate with, with people, mm -hmm. how you communicate, how you cope with winning or, or losing a match. You yeah. learn everything through football. Yeah. So then what happens? So then do they find a local club? or? Yeah, they come to us. Now you have a club in almost every city in Bosnia. Oh, wow. Because we have almost 40 clubs and that's a lot. Yeah for a small country like Bosnia. Of course, they can be more, but that's quite good because not only in big cities like Sarajevo, Mostar, Tuzla, uh, even in smaller places you have a women's football team. Mm. I was living in a small place and uh, now, today, it has a women's team. So if I didn't move to Sarajevo, I would have a team there, but it would be pretty late. But yeah. yeah. Alright guys, it's time for Bosnian Phrases with Liv Cook. Ooh, what is that one? Let's start with entrance. Olas, 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 ulas, could be ulas, ola, ula. Trying to think how Azra would say it like, ulas. That mm. is right. Uh, thank you. You have to know thank you, don't you have to be polite. Havala, havala. I like this. I'm learning. Uh, pleased to meet you. Drago me J. No, I bet the J's a yay, innit? Because Sarah, oh, it's a he. Uh, the hag or me. Okay. <laughs> this is a hard language. Uh, Alright, ticket because we're going to need a ticket at the game tonight, right? Olaznika. Oh, Olaznika. Oh, oh, <laughs> Alright, last one, last one. Okay, goodbye is. Dovidenha. But that's, is that, if you read it in English, it's Dovidenja. But like, they say ja as like ha, so. Dovidenha. And that's it, that concludes this episode of Bosnian Phrases with Liv Cook. the cable car heading back down that was insane like freestyling on the edge of the cliff was it was pretty scary you know like at first I was like oh I don't know if I can do this but you know like once you do it like a few little tricks then you're like okay I'll try the next trick and then the next trick and then before you know it you're pulling out a full set and nearly losing your ball now nah, I'm only kidding I didn't nearly lose my ball I had it under lock and key <laughs> look at this view this is insane we can't come to Sarajevo, freestyle and talk all things football and not go and see a game. So, let's go and see Azra do her thing. It's beautiful. It's going to be a good game. Free game. How do you feel? It's done. You've completed yeah. your 100 jobs. Yeah, <laughs> pretty tired, but still proud of my team. Yeah. This was an amazing match. It's a big thing to play round of 32 for us. Yeah. It's not a question that Chelsea is much better and stronger. They're professionals, but still, we are happy to be here at this point right now. Yeah. But in a few years, we'll see them in the final. Oh, so. I like it. I like the confidence. Yeah. I like that. So, that's Sarajevo. What a trip it's been. It's been short and sweet, and honestly, I feel like I've learned so much about the area and it's really reminded me of what football's all about. It's about passion. It's not about all this money and fancy equipment and the best stadium. It's about getting together, having fun and just having passion for what is a beautiful game. And I think Azra is a true demonstration of exactly that. She is amazing. She is dedicating her whole life to taking women's football to the level that it deserves. And I've taken a lot away from this trip and I think, I think Azra is going to go on to do some amazing things and I think women's football in this area is just going to get higher and higher. I think the level's there, like when, when you look at this match today, Chelsea versus Sarajevo, 
taking into consideration the fact that Sarajevo are not professional players, they're having to juggle full-time jobs on the side and they don't have many fans turning up. It was a record number of fans today. So when you take all that into consideration, it's actually mind-blowing what they've done. The, the level, the fact that they can even qualify for the Champions League year in, year out is amazing and compete on the same field as professional clubs like Chelsea. It's, it's amazing, it's actually inspirational and I have taken a lot from this trip. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the We Play Strong YouTube channel because where are we going next? Wait and see.